So this is a video on troubleshooting your micro bit when it won't turn on. So if I plug in the micro bit with the USB cable, it pretty much always turns on. Okay? And whether or not the switch is on, it's getting power from the USB cable. So it will just automatically turn on and the power will be fine. You know it's getting power if it, this little green light right here is lit up. Okay, that signals that there's power. This orange light signals that if it's solid, it means it's connected to the USB cable. If it's flashing, it means the code is coming from the computer onto the micro bit. If you unplug this, that goes out. And if there's no other power source, the green light goes out as well. So here's the things to check. If it goes, if the power goes out as soon as you unplug the USB cable, one, make sure it's turned on. There's a little tiny switch just on the other side of the hello. And if you look really carefully, there's kind of some marks here on the edge of the bit buddy. Those marks show you that right behind it is the tiny little switch. You can see it there. It's a tiny little black switch with a metal surrounding. So in order for it to be on, you need to move to the right. So to the right is on, to the left is off. Okay. Now, first thing, does it have a battery here? Well, no. So in this case, there is no battery in it. So the type of battery it needs, maybe also this battery is dead. This battery is called the CR2032 coin cell battery. I don't know if this is backwards for you on the video, but hopefully it's not. When you put it in, there's a side of the battery that says plus and actually says, among other things, the type of battery. So it says CR2032 right on it. When you put it in, the textured backside of the battery that has no writing is the one you should be able to see through the little oval hole. So I put that in. Turn it on. Hey, okay, so that works. That's one thing. If you put it in and turn it on and it doesn't start, that means that battery is most likely dead. The other thing you can do is buy a new battery or you can use the external battery pack that has th two AAA batteries in it that comes with it. Make sure they're installed and put the white connector, it only goes in one way, this little ridge on it ensures that the ridge side is facing the micro bit upside. Just kidding, downside. So when this is plugged in, it should also work, okay, even if you don't have the coin cell battery, okay, that's step two. Replace, install this battery, replace this battery, or if you don't have that, use the external battery pack. If this doesn't work, then replace the batteries inside that. And you have to make sure that it's on. If it's off, so here's the other thing. If it's off and the external battery pack is installed, it will stay on. Because the off switch only has to do with that. It doesn't need to be on or off if this is in there. So if you if it's working with the external battery pack and you unplug it to put it in to a project and you say, oh, it stopped working, it's probably because it's off and this battery is not working or one or both of those. Okay, so those are the things to check. Is the battery there? Is the switch on? Is this battery dead or alive? If you don't have one of these batteries, replace it or use the external battery pack and make sure that it's on. That's it.